looking at this project browser, we see that our elements are organized within building stories. These building stories are part of a building and the building is part of a site. The site is part of the project. So an IFC project references the root of what we call the IFC spatial structure. A project aggregates a site, a site aggregates a building, and a building aggregates building stories. Building stories contain products, which are our building elements. So the IFC project will allow us to put in context all the objects in our data model. So if we look for IFC project, if we click on this first link, we see that it's the IFC 2x3 schema, which is not what we're after. We're looking for the 4x3. Okay, this is the one. Um, scrolling down and clicking on link to this page, this is the layout that you should be familiar with to check for relevant uh, IFC classes and concepts and all the specifications uh, contents. But I just type it in and quickly find what I'm looking after. So if we scroll down a bit, you can see we have a little graph here. We see that the, the IFC project rel aggregates a building and um, this shows us that the project and the building have a relationship between one another through this entity called IFC rel aggregates. A building should also be aggregated by a site. So if we now type in IFC site, we would see that a project rel aggregates a site and the site rel aggregates a building. I don't like this graph either, so we'll now type in IFC building. No, not this link. IFC building. This is the, oh yeah, let's go with this graph. IFC building rel aggregates building stories, and then our building stories will contain with the IFC rel containing spatial structure relationship one to many products. And this is how we'll be able to uh, organize our database. So looking at this implementation graph made a bit simpler. We can go back to Blender Keep this on the right hand side and start digging through these links. So let's first open our file with IFC Open Shell. Import IFC Open Shell. We're going to now create a file variable and use the IFC Open Shell open function to store our file's content. With the file variable, type dot and press tab to see all the available properties and methods that we have for this variable. We can search by ID or by type. So we're going to search by type and type in the IFC class as a string. Uh, sorry, not IFC class, IFC project. We have a set that's returned, so let's take in the first element create a variable called project dot and tab again we can see that it is decomposed by an IFC rel aggregates entity this entity has related objects and what are these it's the site so we have successfully navigated from our project to our site through this relationship we can store it in a variable as well. We now have two variables. This one is project, the second one is site. Now let's travel to the building. So we're going to do exactly the same now, but since we know the root, we're not going to uh, go slow, we'll go fast. Decomposed by related objects. 
we now have a building. Let's store that in a variable. Okay, a building also has building stories. It's decomposed by this, the rel aggregates. And now let's check all the related objects of this IFC class. So we have a long list. We have the first IFC building story, uh, the second one, etc. Let's print this out in a better way. Building stories equals uh, building is decomposed by related objects and building stories. So we're going to print something for building story story in building stories print building stories we have one two three four five six building stories let's take the first one so that we can check what elements are contained within our building story so building story zero which is the sous-sol building story. How do I know this? Because I can read the attributes or you could just say get info. So let's now go and travel through these relationships. I called it sous-sol because that's the basement in French. So sous-sol that contains elements. I type typed in cat for the completion which brings us all these elements contained within our relationship uh, let's call it rel contained in structure and this rel contained in structure will have related elements all of these elements for element in rel contain instruction related elements print element these are all the elements that are present in the susol and this is exactly what we have in our project browser up here so as you can see we were able to go from our project up to a building element following the relationships.